everybody, Evan here with TheTwoMusician.com. Today we're going to be going over how to effectively practice drums with only 20 minutes a day. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Evan here with TheTuneMusician.com. I just want to thank you for clicking on this video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every single time we upload a video here at a Tune Musician. Hit that share button and the like button if you find this video helpful whatsoever. Um, and also just let me know if you got any questions, comments, or you'd like to add anything. But with that being said, this video, how to practice effectively the drums for 20 minutes a day. Now I want to preface that by saying we're going to be going over four different sections, five minutes each for a total of 20 minutes. But I did want to, I wanted to say a few things before we got into the actual 20 minute practice routine. Now, there's not one way, there's not one right way to go about practicing drums. You know, I am one drummer with ways I practice, and this is one of the, this is one of the ways, but there are several other drummers out there, I mean, hundreds and thousands who practice spurts of, you know, 20, 30 minutes, um, and then there's some that practice for hours a day. A lot of the structure that is in this practice routine is similar to what a lot of drummers use out there. Uh, you know, I've seen success with this type of structure as have many other drummers, but I do want to preface it by also saying, obviously the more time you spend practicing behind the drums, the better you're going to get faster. That's obvious. The more time you spend investing in your drumming chops, you're going to get better. So I will say that, but this is for people who feel like they can't, you know, like I don't have time to practice, you know, um, what, whatever it may be. You don't have to have hours and hours of practice to see results. People get caught up in that. Like, I don't have an hour. I don't have two hours to practice a day. Obviously, the more the merrier, as I mentioned, but you, you can't ignore the power of, of shorter practice sessions, especially if they're structured and you have tangible goals set for yourself. And that goal could be, you know, I want to get faster at single stroke rolls. I want better paradiddles. I want to get fast. I want to get uh, better with my shuffles. I want to get better at, 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 you know, certain jazz drumming, you know, beats or, or, or fills or whatever it is. You have to have tangible goals. So the structure and tangible goals, that's one. Two, I'm just going over specific things that I've practiced and things that I'm still working on in, the, in this, you know, behind the drums. Three, uh, this will be different for all drummers, as I've mentioned. Drummers practice differently. So what are your goals? Once again, you have to have those if you want to actually see success. If not, you're just going to be twiddling your thumbs for 20 minutes behind the drums doing nothing. you got to set the goals. You have to put in the work. You will see results if you stick to it. I want to say that. So with all that being said, that preface, if you're having trouble finding or keeping motivation to practice, check out the link below for my book, Inspiration Drums Blueprint. It will help you out. Um... 20 minutes to practice drums. There are four sections each, five minutes each. Uh, for the sake of time uh, for this video, I'm just going to do one minute per section so that way we can cut down on the video time here. But four sections, five minutes each. Let's get into it. The first section is focused warm up exercises. So can, this is stick control, this is dynamic. So, you know, you're just getting warmed up. So the first section, what I like to do is I get behind the kit. A warm up would be alternating, you know, right, left, right, left, single stroke rolls at varying speeds around the kit. You can add in some accents there if you want. You can get louder and crescendo and get softer, day crescendo, working on those dynamics. Um, but you're doing that for five minutes. The second exercise is technique drills, you know, so this could be anything from I'm trying to clean up, you know, my paradiddles, evenness between hands or double stroke rolls. Maybe you're trying to develop that rebound and overall stick control within those double stroke rolls or maybe you know specific techniques you're using like the molar method the finger control technique push pull method um heel toe technique there's there's so many different techniques that we can learn as drummers so this five minutes you're, you're spending you know honing maybe it's a, a rudiment as i mentioned the single stroke roll the paradiddle the double stroke roll or the flams or what any of the flam anything what are, what technique are you working on um so that's important to know and this could be obviously once again shuffles or jazz beats or whatever you want to like technique that you want to drill into. The third of this 20 minute practice routine is rhythm and timing mastery. You know, so for five minutes you're working on timekeeping. This could include 
metronome practice, playing along to varying speeds to tighten your timing. And another really good thing that I'm actually going to go over here is subdivision exercises. So shifting between quarter notes, eighth notes, triplets, sixteenth notes, and then going back down, doing that whole like pyramid exercise thing um, while maintaining that steady pulse in the metronome. Uh, once again, you know, practicing knees, they're going to help you as a drummer to internalize a solid sense of rhythm. I mean, that's the whole reason we're playing drums. We want to we, we be the masters of internalizing the rhythm because we're driving the band. We are the beat makers. So the fourth one is applying everything to music. You know? So the final five minutes, you're, you're spent integrating what you've practiced here. You know? So this could be working on specific song parts you know, that are challenging to you, maybe you know, drum parts that are challenging to you, or just groove practice. You know? So you can play along to a track um, and, and you know, use those techniques that, that you just practice. You know, maybe you're doing shuffles and practicing those techniques jazz beats, like I mentioned, any of those techniques you're working on, apply those during this last five minutes along to a groove. You know, by directly applying these techniques to music, that is where you're going to be able to create that practical context in music, or for your skills, but for music as well. So with that being said, let's get into each one. Those were the four sections. For the sake of time, once again, I'm just going to do a minute per section, but it's 20 minutes, and you got to do five minutes per section. So let's get into the first one, warm up. We're just going to do right, left, and varying speeds, you know, add in some dynamics, and let's get to it. Okay, so we just got done with the warm up, five minutes there. The second section of this 20 minute practice routine is technique drills. So, in this instance, I'm gonna practice paradiddles and I'm gonna use the push pull technique because it's something that I'm personally working on. And so, it's a, it's a perfect example here. So, for a minute here, I'm gonna work on my paradiddle uh, using that push pull technique. You, you're gonna do five minutes here though. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so after spending five minutes practicing technique there, we're going to move on to the timekeeping portion. Uh, for, for, these, you know, for this video, I'm just going to do the subdivision practice. So I'm going to go from quarter to eighth notes to triplets, sixteenth notes, um, back down for a minute. Uh, I recommend five minutes. Obviously, this is a 20-minute practice, but for the sake of time, once again, one minute. Here we go.
third section there, subdivision practice. Five minutes, it's going to build your sense of time as a drummer. The fourth and final section is five minutes applying those techniques that you've practiced. You know, you can even apply these subdivision practices as well and jam, you know, or work on a song where the drum part's difficult for you. Um, but let's go ahead and get into that. I, I went ahead and pulled a track from audio.com and I'm going to insert it here and just play along for a little bit. So there you have it. <laughs> I played a little bit to that song. You're gonna do that for five minutes, uh, jam along and apply those techniques um, you know, that you were practicing. But that's it. This is the 20 minute practice session. Um, and as I mentioned, there are many ways to practice the drums. This is one of them. If you found this helpful at all, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to add anything at all. There are several ways that we can practice and so much as drummers and for the people that don't have a lot of time, this is it, you know, this is like, you can incorporate this, and if you have those goals and you have the structure and you set that time, you will see success in your drumming. You will get better. If you're having trouble you know, finding or keeping the motivation to practice drums, check out the link below. I have a book called Inspiration Drums Blueprint where it will overdrive completely whatever things you have in your mind set up to where you feel like you can't find or keep the motivation to practice, and there are tons of different... Um, gems in this book that will help you and it will help you stick to your practicing. Uh, with that being said, um, I hope you found this video helpful. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every single time we upload a video here at A Tune Musician. Hit the share button uh, and also the like button. It helps me, helps the algorithm and the video and everything on the interwebs here at YouTube. But um, I just want to thank you. Let me know in the comments below, what are your thoughts about practicing? Do you have a certain practice? I've seen 45 minute practice structures. I used to practice for an hour to two hours. So I've seen all these different types of practice structures. Let me know which one is best for you, um, but I hope this has been helpful for you. Uh, we went over the four different ways to practice drums in 20 minutes. Once again, that first way, five minutes of warming up. Second way, technical drills. Third, um, you know, rhythm and timing mastery. And then the fourth, applying everything to music. Five minutes each, 20 minutes. So hope this is helpful for you. Until next time, stay tuned.